It's really easy to work with graphic media in Edius because it just lets you work however you want. Here I've got a title, a very, very simple title generated earlier, and I can click and drag this out to any length I like. There is a default duration as well. If I go to the settings menu and choose user settings, then under the, here we are, the duration. So this is the source category under duration. I can specify how long any still images are going to be and separately how long any titles are going to be. And here we've got that option to automatically add a title mixer. This is a transition effect for titles. And that's only going to apply though if you add a title to the title track. There's also an option to add a title with a duration automatically set by your in and out marks, which is pretty handy. If I cancel out of this, I've got a uh, still image here that I created earlier. This is the high resolution 4000 by 3000 pixel image. And if I drop this on the timeline, you can see straight away, especially if I go to my information panel, there we are. My total duration is five seconds. Like anything else, I can stretch this out and I can use the layouter to repurpose it. Maybe I'll go in and I'll just stretch this out so it's horizontally filling the screen. You can apply any visual effects you like to graphics and titles. So for example, I could put this media, let's get rid of that title for a second. I'm just gonna delete it. Put this graphic on top of my media, perhaps where I don't have a title. Down on my effects list under the blend category, I've got a bunch of different Photoshop style blend modes and I can put one of these on if I want to and it'll blend with the video underneath. Now the thing to be aware of when you're applying any kind of blend modes, as you would have seen there, if I just undo and show you that again, you must apply blend modes to the mixer part of the clip, not the video part of the clip. If you put it on any other part, it'll fail. It'll not take the effect. And then likewise, if I select the video part, I'm not going to see the blend mode on my information panel. I have to click on the mixer to see that blend mode or any other effects that I've applied that involve transparency.